Welcome to Fast Philosophy. This video is part of our Introduction to Logic series and explains what ambiguity and vagueness are. As a previous video in this series explained, logical arguments consist of premises and a conclusion. Both the premises and the conclusion are propositions, which, remember, is the meaning of a sentence which declares something rather than one which asks something. Logical arguments must contain no ambiguity and no vagueness. And let me explain each in turn, and you should see why you have to avoid ambiguity and vagueness in arguments. Ambiguity is where a sentence has more than one meaning. Thus, it expresses more than one proposition. Ambiguity can be caused by lexical ambiguity, or syntactic ambiguity, or indeed both. To start off with lexical ambiguity, this is where a sentence has more than one meaning because just one of the words in that sentence has more than one meaning. For example, the sentence, I'm going to the bank, has more than one meaning because the word bank can mean a small grassy hill or a building where money is exchanged. So lexical ambiguity is caused by just one word. Syntactic ambiguity, on the other hand, is where a sentence has more than one meaning due to the grammar of the sentence. For example, Alex is a blind animal lover could express the proposition Alex is blind and loves animals, or Alex loves animals who are blind. Each of the propositions is expressed by the syntactically ambiguous example. Neither lexical nor syntactic ambiguity may be present in logical arguments. Lastly, there's vagueness, which also cannot be present. Vagueness is where a sentence's meaning is unclear due to a word or phrase within that sentence lacking a clear definition. For instance, the sentence, this bottle poses a health threat, is vague because of the phrase health threat. It's unqualified. Does it mean threatening to the health of people who are allergic to the contents of the bottle? Or threatening when used incorrectly? Or only threatening to children? Etc. In summary, logical arguments consist of premises and a conclusion. Premises and conclusions are propositions which express just one meaning. And in order to express just one meaning, the sentence must contain no lexical ambiguity, no syntactic ambiguity, and no vagueness.